Have you ever heard of CTE? or chronic traumatic encephalopathy. CTE is a disease that's been diagnosed in a bunch of former pro athletes. It actually looks a lot like Alzheimer's, where whole sections of the brain degenerate, but it's been reported in people as young as 17. CTE is thought to be caused by repetitive hits to the head. Think football tackles or soccer headers, and it's linked to a lot of behavior and mood changes. And many young athletes have been found to have CTE after death. Most famously, Aaron Hernandez, whose brain was donated to Boston University's CTE Center after his death at just age 27. BU has actually been at the forefront of studying this since 2009. As of 2023, BU's CTE Center had studied the brains of 376 former NFL players and found that almost 92% of them showed signs of CTE. Here's Mike Lasco, a neuropsychologist with the BU CTE Center. So right now, the only way we can diagnose CTE is after someone passes away, we can examine their brain tissue under a microscope. When I asked Mike what BU is doing to get us closer to being able to diagnose the living, he said there are two main avenues of research, studying their behavior and studying their blood. BU researchers interviewed family members of 364 people whose brains they had studied and found that before they died, they'd had very specific behaviors in common, like difficulty paying attention, memory loss, and issues with perception and simple motor functions. These symptoms could be early indicators of CTE. We're also offering these online remote studies. These types of studies are actually looking at how can we detect CTE in the blood through a simple blood draw. These are all questions that we need to answer so that we can get to the point where we no longer need someone to pass away to diagnose CTE, but we can do it in, in someone while they're still alive. If you'd like to learn more about CTE, BU has an entire website called The Brink dedicated to science stories, and they are running a series on CTE right now. Go check it out.